Hello there and welcome to Move With James in this ankle and foot free flow practice. If you're working with a foot and ankle injury, we're not going to put any weight at all in the feet. We are going to build a little bit of core strength and upper body strength. This is a short wake up practice to get you started for the day. Let's get going. So we're going to start seated on the ground. I'm going to invite you to come to sit. Take your hands behind you gently and lean into them. We're going to take the legs out in front. Just make sure this feels okay in your ankles. You could rest on the heels. As you lean back casually into your hands, very mindfully, let's send the knees to one side, just as far as feels good and manageable in the ankle and the foot. And then let's switch them to the other side. So you move side to side, starting to deepen your breath. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Just find a way of moving here that feels manageable, but that gets the knees and the hips a little bit awake. As your knees move, it's a little bit like they're waves on the ocean, moving rhythmically, Calm, slow breaths. Now follow me. Send your knees over to the left. Lean into the left hand. And then can you take the right arm up and over? I've dropped my knees to the floor. I'm going to circle that right arm a couple times. Big circles with the shoulder, getting the ribs to move, waking things up gently. Let's take one more. Then mindfully the hand comes down and we'll go to the other side. Mindfully, gently with the ankles and leaning into the right hand, circling. So I'm mirroring you. <laughs> you can keep the elbow a little bit bent. How can you make this feel good? That famous phrase in yoga now, find what feels good. And then one more time each side, gently flowing back, creating a little bit of a flow with the breath, a vinyasa with the breath. And then we'll go to the other side one more time and gently over. And this time as you come back, take the knees over to the left again. And now this time, as you take that right arm up by the ear, we're going to pause. If you want a little extra challenge here, lean into that back hand. Can you float the bottom leg forwards like you're a can-can dancer? Take the leg forwards and then slowly bring it back. Take it forwards, bring it back. It's going to start to work the thighs. We can still strengthen the legs, even if the ankles are taking a rest. <laughs> One more. Ooh, I'm feeling it. And then foot comes down over to the other side. Can can dancer, leg comes up. Don't worry too much about precision here. Find a movement which feels good and strengthening in the body. And then we're going to continue from here. Foot comes down, sway to the other side. Right leg comes up, left arm, uh, right arm comes up. Let's change sides. Gently through the legs and the hips. Really getting going now. <laughs> and as a bonus, you get a wonderful massage in your butt muscles. Last time each side. Okay, and then from here, coming into centre, we're going to spin the legs round and find a gentle way to come to all fours. Coming onto the hands and the knees. Ease the hips back towards child's pose as far as feels good to you. You don't have to go all the way back. I'm just going to go about halfway. And then take your hands further forwards even. I'm going to flow. As you breathe in, shoulders over the wrists, lift the feet off the floor. As you breathe out, drop your hips, your ribs, your chest. Great. Cobra, lift the chest. Push back towards... The level of child's foes, which feels good. Let's repeat that. As you inhale, round the back, bring the heels in gently. 
As you exhale, ripple down like a wave. Release the feet this time. Cobra breathing in. Child's pose, breathing out. Let's repeat as you come forwards, heels come in. Lower the hips first, bend the elbows, ribs, chest, release the feet. Cobra. Child's pose. One last time. Riding the inhale. And the exhale coming back. We're going to come up to all fours here, hands below shoulders, knees below hips. Allow the right foot to rest somewhere behind you that feels okay. Left leg's going to come up and back. A little bit of abdominal work here, knee towards the chest, scoop and push through the hands. Two more times, inhale, leg back, lift the chest, maybe a back bend. Exhale, knee coming in. Last one. Knee coming in. And then coming back to all fours, child's pose. And let's flow again, hands forwards. This time, pause, shoulders over the wrists, heels in. We're going to keep the spine straight as we lower down. Pull the shoulders back, elbows in. Keep your torso really steady, like a piece of wood, like a plank, all the way down. Strong arms, release the feet, cobra. Child's pose, breathe out. All fours, hands below shoulders, right leg coming up and back mindfully, knee to chest, exhale. Two more, breathe in. And as you release child's pose, we're going to flow again, shoulders over wrists, pause, shoulders back. Can you keep your ribs in, so no sticky outy bum, ribs in, and lower down in one piece. We're going to push back up this time, proper push up, keep those ribs in, push through the hands. Three, lower down, shoulders back, no back bend, push up, keep the abs tight. Last one, oh I'm finding this hard today, push back up, <laughs> all the way down, and cobra breathing in. Child's pose, breathing out. Coming to all fours, new challenge for you. Left leg coming back, now follow me. Left knee comes into the chest. This time we're gonna take it out to the side and up, it's really strong, and then circle the knee back. Can you draw a huge circle with the knee two more times? Big circle, out and back. Don't be shy, make it feel strong. Last one. And then coming into child's pose, hands forwards, shoulders over wrists, shoulders back, lower down, strong arms. Cobra breathing in. Towards the child's pose or thereabouts, breathing out. Come to all fours, right leg comes back behind you. Knee to the chest, get ready to circle it out. Take it out to the side, up and over and back. Like a dog at a fire hydrant. <laughs> Notice how strong it is in your shoulders and your abs. Last one. And then for the final time, towards the child's pose, thereabouts, and then forwards. Bend the elbows, chaturanga on the knees. Cobra breathing in. All fours. From all fours, come down onto your elbows and link the fingers. We're going to rock forwards and back a little bit here. Deepen the breath, slow it down. And then from here, come back onto the hands. We're going to lower all the way down to the ground now as we move towards a few back bends. Take the hands behind you, locust. Inhale, lift the chest. Option to lift the feet, let's hold for five. Arms and legs really straight and strong, four. Consciously squeeze your butt, three. Give it a poke if you're not sure. Two, one, from here, lie down. Push back up onto the knees. And again, chaturanga all the way down. We get a strong back body today. 
locust lifting up. Option one, keep the arms beside you. Option two, take the right arm forwards like you're a superhero. Wonder Woman or Superman, hold. If you're on one arm, let's change sides. Squeeze those glutes, lift those feet. Three, two, one. Push back up onto the knees. Last time, lower down. Chaturanga in the arms. Three options. Option one, both arms back. Option two, one arm forwards. Option three, both arms forwards, holding. If both arms are forwards, drop the head slightly between the arms. If you're on one arm, switch sides. Three, lift up, 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 up. Two, one, lie down, take a breather. You can rest your head on the side of your hands. You float the feet up. And then very gently, we're going to bring the heels in and then circle them out and away. You might even gently cross the ankles, circling the legs. So you get some movement in the hips and the knees without relying on the feet and the ankles. Just be mindful, especially if you're working with a cast or something. <laughs> yeah. Done well so far if you've had one. <laughs> okay, as you come back to center, we're gonna push back up to all fours, and then finding a way to come round to sit. As you come to sit, we're gonna catch behind the knees and lean back. Last little bit of ab work, then some stretches. Hips lift, feet, uh, sorry, feet lift rather. You can lift your hips if you like, <laughs> knees lift. Boat. In boat pose, the shoulders are down and the chest is proud. Option two, release the hands forwards. Squeeze the legs together. Option three, straighten the legs. Three, two, one. Gently place the feet back down. We're gonna lie down in slow motion, round the back, lower down, 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 slower. Yeah, <laughs> going all the way down. And from here, can you bring the right knee in towards your chest? Slide the left leg long. Curl your nose up towards the knee, exhaling. And lower back down. Let's do that one more time. As you exhale, knee towards the nose. Lower back down and switch sides. Bring the left knee in, right leg goes long. Exhale, curling up. And back down. Two more. Push the low back gently into the ground. Abs on. And now we're going to take bicycles. So follow me. Bring the right knee in, left leg long, but this time float the leg up above the ground at about 45 degrees. The leg is straight. Both hands bring the right knee in, and we're going to switch in slow motion. Change legs, hold the left knee, bring it in. That's number one. Two, we've got 12, three, nice and high, four, five, squeeze, six, halfway, seven, eight, low back down, lift up, nine, 10, enjoy the feeling of it building, 11, last one, and 12, and then let's release, Slide the legs long. Take a little wiggle out of the hips. Okay, we're going for stretchy stuff now. Bring the right knee in. This time, link behind the thigh with the hands. As you link with the hands, start to straighten the leg. Have the ankle in whatever position feels okay for it, but really straightening out through the knee. If you've got a little bit more space, you can slide the hands up towards the calf or maybe even the ankle into a reclined split position. As long as you're feeling a stretch down the back of the thigh and the knee, you're in the right place. Three more breaths. Two. And one. From here, 
Let's gently change legs, link the hands behind the left thigh. As you straighten the leg, pause. Maybe take the hands higher. I'm resting my head back down on the ground, if that's possible. So here, the muscles on the front of your thigh are working to help stretch the muscles on the back of the thigh. So it's a bit of effort, but that's a really healthy way to stretch. You'll get lots of flexibility if you use strength with it. Okay, we're going to release both legs long and give the legs a little shake out. As you walk your feet in, we're going to slowly take the feet as wide as the mat. And just how we started, send the knees to one side gently and then to the other side. Now option one, you might continue with this movement. But option two, try this and see if it works or not. Option two, I'm gonna bring my feet in and I'm going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. Now for some injuries this will be fine, for some it won't. If this feels okay, you can reach behind the left thigh and bring the knee in. So if this feels good, go for it. You'll get a nice deep hip stretch. If this doesn't quite feel right for you, then I would recommend taking the knees to one side and breathing there, getting all that lovely space in the ribs and the waist. Wherever you are, three or four more breaths. Starting to slow the breath down, smooth it out. And then let's release and change sides. If you're crossing the ankle over the knee, just make sure the foot is free, ankle feels okay. And then bringing that right thigh in with the hands. Otherwise, knees to the other side, resting here. Final breath in this position, and then release the hands. We're gonna take a final twist. From here, shuffle your hips to the right a little bit, and bring the right knee in, left leg long. Two options for you. Option one, the knee stays bent and it comes across the body. Option two, you might straighten the leg out to the side and walk one hand down towards the calf, or even the foot, so you get a big stretch in the outside of the hip and the IT band. Again, find what feels good. And focusing on long, slow exhales now, breathing out slowly. Let's begin to change, coming back. Gently shuffle the hips to the left. Left knee comes in and across, maybe straightening the leg. I've not got room. My plant attacking me. And see what could relax or soften in the muscles around your eyes and eyebrows the jaw, throat, soft. And then coming back into the middle. Let's just take a moment to take a big stretch out, deep inhale. And exhale. We are gonna rock up and come to close sitting, friends. Let's take a moment, find a position that's comfortable for you. Maybe that's legs out. <laughs> Palms together and bowing head to heart in honor of your practice and on the path to healing. Peace, peace, peace. Thanks so much for being here. As always, let me know how this flow worked for you. If you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And also I have a Patreon channel with more videos coming each month. The link is below if you want it. I'll see you next time.